Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. As per a report by ChosenBiz dated March 24, 2024, the South Korean Defense Acquisition Program Administration, DAPA, is set to oversee the production of 20 KF-21 Boramay fighter jets by June 2024. Following successful air-to-air -air weapons verification tests, a contract for an additional 20 units is projected to be finalized early next year, with the delivery of a total of 120 units anticipated by 2032. Initially, the production schedule for South Korea's first domestically produced supersonic fighter, the KF-21 Boramay, aimed at mass producing 40 units by 2024. However, adjustments were made based on recommendations from a business feasibility study conducted by the Korea Institute for Defense Analyses, KEDA. In light of KEDA's findings, the production quantity was reduced to 20 units to allow ample time for comprehensive testing and verification of the aircraft's integrated systems. The decision to scale down the initial production batch from 40 to 20 units was prompted by KEDA's observation that the integration tests for air-to-air -air missiles and the Advanced Electronically Scanned Array AESA, radar were incomplete. This raised concerns about potential gaps in the country's air defense capabilities, considering the phased-out F-4 and F-5 series fighters and the delayed deployment of the KF-21. Under the revised plan, these 20 units are scheduled for production by June of this year, with a contract for an additional 20 units expected to be signed early next year upon successful completion of air-to-air -air weapons verification tests. Furthermore, there are financial implications associated with the production reduction. The per-unit cost, initially estimated at around 80 billion won, dollars could rise to over 100 billion won, $74,527,360, with half production, potentially affecting the project's financial feasibility and global market competitiveness. In response, DAPA, in collaboration with Korea Aerospace Industries, KAI, and other partners such as LIG Nex1 and Hanwha Systems, is addressing potential risks to ensure the smooth progression of the KF-21 project without significant delays or cost overruns. The collective objective is to ensure the timely deployment of the KF-21 while managing the financial implications of the adjusted production schedule. Despite the reduction in the initial production quantity, DAPA reaffirms its commitment to delivering a total of 40 mass-produced units to the Air Force by 2028, with a deployment schedule outlined from 2026 to 2028. Additionally, DAPA plans to manufacture an additional 80 KF-21 units by 2032, aiming to deliver a total of 120 aircraft to the South Korean Air Force. A budget of 7.92 trillion won, 5 billion 902 million 566,912 dollars, has been allocated to support the production of the initial 40 units, covering costs related to the aircraft, its armaments, and necessary logistical and support infrastructure. The development of the KF-21 Boramay holds critical importance for South Korea, aimed at bolstering the air defense capabilities of both South Korea and Indonesia. To date, over 140 test flights have been conducted to evaluate the operational stability of the aircraft and the functionality of its avionics system. This testing phase is crucial as DAPA moves towards mass production, assessing the aircraft's combat suitability and conducting necessary feasibility studies to ensure its readiness for deployment. A significant phase in the development of the KF-21 involves its integration with the Meteor Beyond Visual Range Air-to-Air -air Missile, BVRAM, making it the first non-Western platform to utilize this missile type. This integration is pivotal for the project, with scheduled live-fire tests planned for early 2024 to validate the aircraft's combat capabilities and the effective integration of the Meteor missile, thereby enhancing its air-to-air -air engagement potential. The aircraft's design emphasizes a low observable airframe and incorporates advanced avionic systems to surpass fourth-generation fighter capabilities, while laying the groundwork for future enhancements such as internal weapon bays. These systems include an active electronically scanned array, AESA, radar, an electro-optical targeting pod, EOTGP, an infrared search and track, IRST, system, and an electronic warfare, EW, suite. The design aims to enhance the aircraft's performance over fourth-generation fighters, with future development stages to include internal weapon bays. In terms of performance, the South Korean KF-21 Boramay fighter jet is powered by two General Electric F-414 GE 400K turbofan engines, enabling a maximum speed of 2,200 km per hour, 1,400 miles per hour, and a combat range of 1,000 km, 620 miles. 
Additionally, the aircraft can be armed with a diverse array of weaponry, including a 20mm M61A2 Vulcan rotary autocannon and various hardpoints for carrying air-to-air -air and air-to-surface missiles, precision-guided bombs, and anti-ship missiles. That's all for now, see you later.